We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we continue with our adventures in Baldur's Gate, the Enhanced Edition. Yes. Uh, things didn't go horribly, but they didn't go I well. Like the sunlight. Of course. <laughs> yeah. It's just too bright. Last time, so. I suppose we should find the Friendly Arms Inn. Ah, uh, I remember this. I should have joined the army. Welcome to the Friendly Arm. I trust you know the rules of conduct within. There are rules? What kind of rules? Uh, I know which rules suit me and which ones don't. I will follow those that suit the situation. Certainly, common sense rules the day within Friendly Arm. Uh, rules? What kind of rules? Well, perhaps rules is a touch too formal. It is unwritten. But accepted that while within or while herein you will act with the utmost civility to all other guests this is neutral ground and all grievances are left at the gates if the grievances come in you will go out enjoy your stay time for a bit of the rough and tumble what is this I wonder To talk to hey, hey there, you're new here, aren't you? Could I trouble you a moment? Uh, tell me what you need, but make it quick. Certainly, my lady, speak your mind. Such manners, well, I need a gruff hand for this task, so keep your please and thank you garbage for the nobles. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins within sight of this very inn's walls, and I need you to return the favor. They took my ring. That's all that I want back. Will you do it? I will help you. I thank you. The creatures are just north of the inn. I swear I can almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring my ring back here. When you get it, you will know it when you see it. It's a flame dance ring. Very striking. Uh-huh. I, I, is this the inn? Hey, j j j joy, j joy, j uh, look the other way. Doodly do 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 do. You're a queer way. You're a queer fellow. It's an and an dodge. Oh, yeah. And some cash monies. What now, I wonder? Oh, we're leaving. Done and done. Done and done indeed. Done and done. We've got a commoner. Another commoner. Hello. Yes, friend? I heard that there's a lot. No, I'm not gonna. Not going that far. I heard that there's a lot of money to be made in Nashkel. The people of the town are desperate. For mercenaries. From what I hear, their iron mines are infested with monsters. And since the mines are the town's main source of income, well, they're rather eager to get things back to normal. No doubt, no doubt. You're a noble, aren't you? I'm a commoner. You said something? All those new tools I bought turned brittle as clay. I'm starting to believe the tales about this faulty iron that's been being sold. Eh, we're going to make a. We're going to be in a sorry state. When all our old tools and weapons wear out. Iron in this region seems to deteriorate for no known reason. Yes? Yes? Stay away and I bet you those... Sorry, uh, I bet you're those Zentarum. Zent... Zentarum? Zentarum? I hear they turn women into goats at the snap of their fingers. Not true. I heard that they were behind the trouble in Nashville, and maybe other places too. Just you stay away from me. Make me snap my fingers. Teach you a goat or two. What? Life's well, been getting prickly on me, eyes. My father's farm is at a standstill. One of his... One by one his tools break, and replacements are pricey. Pricey? Priced incredibly high. I still can't read today. Or ever, apparently. Now, if we don't get 
A good stock of ore before harvest. Crops will be rotting in the fields. Can't manage a farm with your bare hands. I mean, you can, probably, but very poorly. Guards. Hello. There's to be no fighting or stealing within sight of the walls of the friendly are in. Aggressors will be punished to the full extent of the frontier. Oh. Oh. Hello. No fighting, frontier law. Got it. Hmm? The iron crisis has taken everybody off guard. I plan for a shortage when the resource is nearly unlimited. I guess we're paying for it now. I guarantee that if we survive through this, it will never happen again. People will be hoarding metal for months. Well. Hello. Frontier law. Frontier law. Frontier law. Do, 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 do. Hello, pal. Hey, well, I've troubles enough without strangers in my face. If I want to chat, I'll come see you first thing. But for now, I want to be left alone. Hey. Look, there's like a temple? I don't remember that much about the friendly arm. I just remember the like the lead up into it, the, the gate. A lot of uh, memories of being uh, triggered. What is this? Hmm. Hi, friend. Oh, you want to talk to me, don't you? Who are you? Tarnish. Oh. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? Nothing much, really. Just road-worn travelers looking for a place to rest. I'm here to meet some friends. I am not your friend, and my business is my own. I'm here to meet some friends. Oh, you must be whom I am to meet, then. I will take you to your friends, but I should be... I sh but first, I should be sure you're the correct person. Is your name Kalar? Sorry, but no, I think you're the person... I don't think you're the person I'm supposed to meet. I feel like... This is a trap, obviously. Perfect, you're indeed the person I seek. Hold still a moment, won't you? All of you should kill, except for Emma, who should I've run. Done had enough of this. Where to now? Yep. I'm done had enough of this. Is that his loot? Is this the ground? What? What is this? Yes. Don and Don. Uh, are the guards gonna like get mad at me? Well, I don't seem to. Also, I'm realizing how dumb it was to leave my uh, my mage over there. What's his name? Xanth? Zinth? Czar? There we go. Yes? Uh, I feel like talking to you, husband. I lost my husband to those bastard raiders. I hope they rot in, all through the Nine Hills. Alright. A bandit to make the roads unsafe to travel. Life's well, been getting prickly on me, eyes. Uh huh. You'd be a fool to work. Oh. Weird, they say more. I didn't know that. Uh, lots of work in Nashkel, I hears, but I says no cause ain't... Uh, I says no because I ain't going down no mine. You've got to be a fool to work underground at the best of times. And you'd have to be completely crazy to do it now. You have more to say. Life's been getting prickly on me, Arge. Look my pl plow again like it had rusted out in a single overnight. How's a man supposed to get any work done and make a living? Can't keep prices down without playing everything by hand. Life's been getting prickly on me, Ars. Okay, that's that's the extent of your uh, dialogue. Interesting. Yes? Uh-huh. Lady? Yes? I don't like the looks of it. What with the iron shortage and the bandits round about, no one seems to pass with a friendly arm anymore, except the gangs and, ar gangs and armed to the teeth like you. I like it no more than you do. The treacherous roads have near cost my life. Which routes are still clear, do you know? Where's all this trouble coming from? 
Um, if you ask me, isn't that the Shadows of Om? Um, isn't that the uh, second game's title? Baldur's Gate 2? Uh, the Rotten Iron they've been sending out of Nashkel's just salt for the wounds. They'll starve us of metal all summer, probably attack Baragos before winter sets. God, so only knows if the Dukes and Baldur's Gate will defend us at this time. Yes? Pinch off the supply of iron, and after a while, the farmers can't sow, the smiths can't forge. And, by and by, the army finds it's disarmed of all but clubs and staves. That's the kind of strife that makes the land vulnerable. True. Anything else, milady? Yes? I think that might be the extent of her dialogue. Yes? Treatment. Wait, she says, you aren't from Nashville, are you? Hope not, because we don't trade with them at all anymore. All the irons we get all the iron we get from the mines there is tainted. Weak as tissue it is. Nashkel seems yes. to be really bad. I don't know if something's getting started. It's good to see a new face about. I was getting pretty tired of the old ones. Maybe I'll chance the roads again and try to get to Baragos one of these days. Wow. She yes. just keeps going. Yes? Okay, she's on a repeat cycle now. Wow. I had no idea they had so much to say. Yes, friend? Uh, okay, that's the same thing she just said. Yes, friend? But I think I recognize you from some descriptions I've been given. Is your name Kellark? Yeah, that'd be my name. Well, I think you should know that there's been a lot of people asking about you. There were a man and a woman who were asking about someone named Kalark, and then there was a spooky fellow who was doing the same. A few days ago, there was a big man who was looking for someone with your name. I don't know why you're so popular, but I'd watch it. Some of these people didn't look too social. Man. Yes, friend? Now I feel like I, I definitely messed up leaving the candle keep in before talking to everybody multiple times. All right, she seems to be on a loop again. Yes, friend. Oh no! Whoever heard of bandits passing over gold to steal ingots? That's got to be part of the trouble in the mines. They must have. They must be in cahoots somehow. Can't get ore from the mines. Can't get ore through trading. It's gonna be hard times for a while. Yes, friend. Uh huh. Yes, friend. All right, I think I've exhausted yes, her. Hello, pal. Travelers, huh? The first group to come to, count, uh, to town all day. Not uh, many have uh, braved the roads since all the trouble started. We've seen only ten new faces in the last month. Found a lot of bodies, unfortunately. Hello, pal. Taint even safe to travel to Nashville anymore. I've been stuck here for weeks upon weeks. Nothing to do but sit and drink. Not that I'd do much different anywhere else, but I'd like to have the option. Hello, pal. You don't go believing every little thing uh, being bandied about. A lot of it is just people getting worried about nothing. Those gossips in Baragost are always coming up with new rumors to tell travelers. Us here at the Friendly Arm. We have some more so oh, We should have more sense. Hello, pal. I'm moving out soon, what with all the rumors about Arm going on. I hear that they have an army down at Nashkel. I'm gonna use uh, the friendly arm to launch against the gate, I hear. Hopefully, I'm gone by then. Hello, pal. Land crisis, shortage, supply. Uh, okay, yep. You, we've heard that Hello, one before. Pal. Oh, this farm is standstill one by one as tools break. Heard that before. Hello, pal. Uh, plow broke again. Okay. I think we're in, in loop land. Maybe not. Hello there. Hello there. Unless you're buying the drinks, I'd suggest you leave me be. I've got nothing to say to you. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Hello there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I had me a friend that uh, that asked one of oh, them smarty pants mages why they didn't just conjure great walls of iron out the air. That their mage looked at my friend square in the eyes and asked how, him how secure he'd feel if the guard were outfitted in weapons and armor. That was dispellable with nary a wink. I hate magic. Makes me nervous. True. Hello there. Lots of work in Nashkel, I hears, but says no because I'm 
Okay. Yeah, no, you're not going to go down in the mines. Uh, Father's Farm, stand still. Hello you like there. to eat bologna sandwiches. Off guard. Hello. Cannot so What? Now I cannot cannot even afford a, a sword to do the fool's work of venturing. Uh, weapons ain't cheap like they used to be, and chances are they would break pretty quick, too. Seems like something is wrong with the metal. I, I, I feel like we, we know this by now. They, they are driving the point home pretty heartily. And I suppose that's okay. All right, we, we should go to the main building. We should uh, not be doing what I'm doing. Also, who's this? You said something? My father's farm, stand still, tools break. You said something? Iron crisis, everybody off guard. You said something? A friend of mine died in smarty pants and mages. You said something? Can't even afford a sword. All right, we're gonna go into the inn. Hopefully I can find Jahira and Khalid. Maybe heal? Like, resting would be great if we can get our HP back. And then we'll see what's next. Hopefully, again, I don't get in trouble for the dead guy there. Probably will. You must gather your party before venturing, venturing forth. forth. I love it. Dorn. Commoner. 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 Welp. Commoner. Commoner and commoner? A simple task. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. It's Jompy, it's Joppy Nessie Saray. Another commoner, another commoner. Oh, I don't I don't like this. I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't get there to see him. What does your uncle do? He's a mage and a crotch deal one at that. Goes by the name of Ragefast. Though the kids, though as kids, we always called him Grumpleskin. <laughs> if he ever caught us at it, he'd cast bark skin on us, so we'd wander around brown skinned and green haired and funny looking for a few hours. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Keep talking. No, no. Choppy. Hey, hey. Hey, Brohemian. Oh, he's busy. Oh, okay. Khalid Jahira. Where are you? That's Khalid. It's Bentley Mirror Shade. Nice. Where's Jahira? All right, let's go talk to Khalid. Oh, there she is. Let's talk to Jira instead. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Indeed. Greetings. You, you, you look familiar. Oh, it's not your looks. I'm not sure what I expected, but I believe you are Garion's child. I am Jahira. This is Khalid. Good to know you. We are old friends of your adopted father. He, he is not with you? Well, I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If if he has passed, we, we share your loss. Garion often said he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians, if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now and the choice of your companions should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled, help you find your lot in life. It would be a fitting last service to Karayan, though we should first go to Nashkel. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumors of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage a few hundred times, yeah. Uh, you would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, ba Baroon Gastkill. Well, your company would be welcome. I would rather choose my own future and leave Garion's past behind me. I'll find my way on my own. I'm already going to Nashkel. My current companions wish to visit there as well. Your company would be welcome. Three is an interesting option. I'm going to go with one. 
Well, good. We'll leave as soon as you're ready, though. It should be soon. All right, so we have Khalid and Jahir now. Awaits. Which is servant? Oh, wait, she's a druid, right? Yeah, she's a fighter druid. She has... Cure Light Wounds, okay. Uh, can I help you? I can, uh, can I help you? And he's just a straight-up fighter, right? You have need of me? Uh, C, tab, I, I. Yeah, he's a straight-up fighter. And he's got Splint Mail. Nice. He's got a shield and a longsword. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Well, if uh, if he's going to stay in our party, which I don't I don't know how this is going to work, because we have evil guys and, and clearly good guys in our party at this point. I, I don't know how that works. How do we how do we reorder people again? Reform party. No, that's not. No, it's not. That's not what I want. Wait, well, hold on. Let's just see what happens. Are you sure you want to remove? No, I, I do not. Uh, cancel. That's backwards. Cancel should be on the bottom. I could have sworn you could. Oh, you can. Okay. It's like I could have sworn you could drag these people. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Oh yes, omnipresent authority figure. I remember that. Ah, oh, there's a lot of nostalgia here for me, even though I never got very far in the game. Yes, omnipresent authority figure. She's just mocking you constantly. What is happening? With you? Hello? I care not. I've done had enough of this. Nature. Yes, servant so awaits. Sorry, I'll stop. Uh, alright. Okay, ammo ends fully healed. I, I don't know how things work, like what we gain from resting, so... I'm gonna use spells right now. Probably stupidly. Okay, so we know that we use two of her spells. Let's let's get looking at her a little bit more here. Um, how, do, how does... Okay, so we have the character sheet there. Class, combat, skills, lore, okay. Abilities. She has bonus priest spells. Interesting. Uh, what is she currently using? Uh, just a quarter staff? And she's got leather armor on, okay. She's memorized three of three. She's going with two heals and what is this thing? Entangle? What does Entangle do? Uh, by means of this spell, the caster is able to cause the plants in the area to... Sorry. Uh, to entangle creatures within the area. Uh, the grasses, weeds, and bushes, even the trees, wrap, twist, and entwine about the creatures, twist, uh, holding them fast. Once per round, a creature can attempt to save, and an entangled creature can still attack, but it receives a minus two to its armor class. Shillelagh. Less wouldn't be terrible. It raises the morale of friendly creatures. Furthermore, it raises their attack and damage rolls by one. That's a little bit better. I mean, Entangle could be useful. So could Armor Fate. I mean, like, all of these are pretty good. We have to get a higher level to do more. Uh, let's take a look at... Something troubling you? Yes, you. Uh, let's take a look at you, sir. We have Chill Touch and the Minor Drain. No actual projectiles coming out, which is uh, odd. But we did just get a bunch of scrolls that we, we've learned. And we already know Chill Touch and the Minor Drain. However, Burning Hands, that's a thing. We can write it. Done. Magic Missile, very important. 
And I don't know about detect evil. Do, do we get to what do we know about this spell? What kind of spell is it? It's not use so it is just a it says divination, but you can't use it by a cleric or a druid. Huh. I don't I, I don't know how useful that is. Now this is just armor and I like divine armor. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, wizard creates a magical field of force that serves as if it were scale mail. Oh, armor class of six. Uh, it is cumulative with dexterity and, in the case of fighters slash mages, with a shield bonus. The armor does not hinder movement, adds no weight or encumbrance, and does not prevent spell casting. It lasts until successfully dispelled or the duration runs out. And the duration is nine hours. Interesting. We can make him a bit tankier. He is technically naked, even though, you know, he's, he's not. All right, we got double thief action going on here. Interesting. All right, we should read the letter, though. A bounty notice. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Kalok, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of the law shall join the target in their fate. I feel like I should definitely do something with that. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. Alright, well, that's great. I'm going to talk to this guy. Not with you, though. What now I wonder oh, I'm gonna task. go and speak with them. It's been dreadful slow being Iron lately. Iron is the lifeblood of this whole region, and it's sure painful when it gets scarce. So what can I do for you? Uh what do you have to sell? Okay, so can somebody explain to me exactly what happens here? While an adequate place to rest, rooms of this type offer little more than a roof over one's head. Recuperate benefits. Sorry, recuperate, recru recuperative benefits, got it, uh, will likely be minimal. You get what you pay for. Cost is one. The merchant is three. Favorite of the frugal business uh, traveler rooms of this type are basic but comfortable. A good solid mattress, clean linen for when one must be awakened presentable, but... Not so pampered as to promote oversleeping. Three's not a terrible amount. The noble is five and the royal is eight. None of these prices are that bad. I'm shocked. Usually uh, resting at an inn is quite costly. These rooms are of excellent quality at somewhat reasonable price with a, a definitive luxury for those accustomed to sleeping under the open sky. None but the most pampered dandy would have complaints about these accommodations. A truly luxurious experience at the equally exorbitant price. Beds filled with the softest down, draped with the finest Kalamshan uh, silks and linens, nearly as restful as a week in a lesser room. Though who but royalty could afford the cost? Now, is this per person? Or oh, hold on, let me let me say done. Let me group the entire group. Where to now? My inn is open. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Is it still just one? Okay. Well, I think we go merchant then, right? And then we should theoretically be safe. And then, I, in theory, we also maybe get our spells back? Okay. Let's go take a look at Jahira, because we know that... Oh, well, we can Your look at him, too. Is ambrosia. He's got nothing. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Yes. What? Yes. What is the star here next to my name? What does that mean? Oh, protection from uh, cold. Nice. Why do I have that? Is that... Um... Oh, I bet that's that's the belt. All right, all right, all right. I remember now. We, we, we wanted to have a mage identify this 
with an identify spell or scroll. I thought people could just automatically know. Well, clearly at this point, we know it's a, a belt that provides cold protection. Star. I mean, that's not a morning star, but whatever. Uh, blue stone necklace. I think we can just sell some stuff. Oh, My cool. inn is <laughs> open yeah. to all who behave themselves. Oh, I wish. I wish. Sadly, it's one-handed. We we are using a two-handed sword now, right? I'm pretty sure we are. Okay. Oh, look at plate mail. How much is plate mail's armor class? Armor class is three. Splint mail armor class is four. Chain mail armor class is five. Arrows are only one gold. Oh, that's that's really nice, actually. I don't know that I should sell, like, a bunch of stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll sell this. Maybe we get enough... I don't like that I have to do that multiple times, but I guess it's okay. The history of the of the faithful coin. Uh, can I just read it from there and not have to buy it? That that doesn't seem right. They don't have any bows. Oh, they do. There's a long bow. Those are expensive. So how does it stack up against a short bow? Speed factor of 6 requires 6 strength. Does it tell me anything else about it? No. Thacko plus 1. Speed factor of 7. Which I'm going to guess is just, just better. Can't use it by a thief. So a thief can only use Wait, what's, what's the cost of three? Oh, sorry. So a thief can only use a short bow, the rest are for what? Maybe a ranger, just a straight ranger? There's a flail though. I, again, it, it, arguably. So for, so for me, folks, a flail, in my mind, has always been this, but with three balls on the end of it, right? So three spiked balls. And a morning star has always been the ball and chain with a single spiked ball. A morning star being just a spiked club or a spiked mace doesn't sit right with me. And I'll... Both are correct. I've actually done some more research into this. I know something that doesn't matter and it's completely uh, wasted. But um, I've done some research into it, and I've seen documented things of both being correct. So as much as I don't like to admit that this is a flail, because it should be a morning star to me, I guess I have no choice. It, it is also acceptable to consider this a flail, even though I personally disagree and prefer that to be known as a morning star. So... I don't know. Thoughts down below or thoughts on a postcard? I don't know. You, you guys let me know what you consider. I could get like a sling and some other stuff. Can't, um... Yeah, I think I am going to buy a sling and there's a reason for this. Uh, I don't necessarily want Czar or whatever his name is to be charging into combat all the time and doing stuff. So if we give him a whole bunch of bullets... He can do that and then use his spells a little bit more sporadically, I guess. I'm going to sell the daggers. I don't think I need them. I'll hold the rest of these for now, and we'll see what happens. All right. And I think that's done. And then we could drink, which will allow us to get some more rumors, which I don't think we're going to do just yet. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys and gals. I know we, we did get into a fight, so 
Like, not nothing happened, but... There could definitely have been some more stuff going down. Alright, gonna give that to her. What is this? A broken we- Oh. Oh no. He had a short sword? Wait, does anybody else have a broken weapon? That's not good. He'll probably, honestly, end up using that more. Is my guess. Alright, um... Everyone's got that. We could put a short bow on him, or at least put it over here, but... Do weapons break? Do they have durability? Maybe that explains why he was just doing so badly. Proficiency plus two and strength. Uh, let's take a peek at him. Short sword and sling. He's also a, a slinger. Okay, well that's good to know. Maybe maybe we get another sling for him. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be a tale for another time. Uh, as I was stating, we're gonna break off the episode here. In the next episode, we got a lot of people to talk to in the end. And uh, as we learn in this episode, uh, apparently people have a multitude of dialogue that we must exhaust as we go through and we do stuff. So I guess we will uh, have to figure that out as we, as we trundle along. We have two frontliners now, technically three, if you want to throw Jahira into the mix. Uh, not necessarily the best frontliners, but with uh, 16, 13, and 12 HP, that's not bad. We just have to protect our backline, and uh, that's very possible to do i think i'm gonna run what's his name it's not montaban that's that's what i want to say it's a montaran excuse me it's slightly different um we can we i'm gonna run montaran as a more up in your face stabity poke poke guy i think we'll let emowin probably sit back and arch seems viable and one other thing to just be aware of, uh, I, now, it's very possible two folks are going to get mad at two other folks because evil and good and all that, you know, it's it, it's very, very likely that's going to happen. Um, and as such, they may leave the party. Now, I'm a big proponent, big fan of, in general, in almost every game, I do this, of uh, keeping the... Whatever party members we find first, I almost always keep those, unless I absolutely despise one of them, almost always keep those like the entire game so if possible it might be these are our only folks all the way through but i i still feel like evil and good do not mix well and making certain decisions is going to upset others so we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway that's it till the very next episode i've been your host uh bumpy mcsquiggums thank you for stopping by the freak show we play we fight we conquer